you in the mind of the American public with George Foreman and Larry Merchant. You know your responsibility. You tell him I told him his responsibility. And I know my responsibility. Let's all do our job. The question in this fight is whether Mayorga can take a punch well enough to last long enough to try to deliver his own big punches. This referee has got a job on his hand, and lately, Marty's been overworking himself. Mark how Dinkin? How so? He misses a lot. The fighters are hitting below the belt. He, if they're on the right side of him, he doesn't move around and get to see what's going on. He has been the object of a couple of complaints in the last year or two. Marty Dinkin, though, as you heard. He's got integrity, though. Deep background, 150 championship fights. Vernon Forrest uh, was involved in two fights with Shane Mosley, both of which involved a fair amount of clinching, holding, and there were disputes on both sides as to which fighter it was who was responsible for all that. We'll see if that kind of thing takes place here, where some think that Forrest might do well to hold on to Mayorga a little bit and try to blunt his power. One thing, when you have the reach advantage, you got to make certain that you take advantage of it. Forrest got the longer arms. Keep this guy on the outside. Let the crowds push you into a fight that you don't have to get into. All the punches that have landed so far have been to the body. Mayorga has got to make certain if he's not close, get far away so he doesn't even be affected by the long jabs. Get close as far as away as you can. Trainer Ronnie Shields wants Vernon Forrest either to be dominating with the jab from the outside or to be up inside where Mayorga can't get extension on those bombs. If you're the shorter fighter, you want to keep moving back, moving back so the taller fighter can try to be the aggressor. That way you can collide and you get to take away his reach advantage. It's not natural for Mayorga to move back. But that's what you want to do. You want to draw your bigger opponents to move forward a little bit. Mayorga forced to fight a boxing match for the first minute and a half of the fight. Manages to touch Vernon Forrest with one of those right hands. Well, what he did, which which we didn't see Campbell do in the first fight, was he missed he missed Stop. one punch and Ray, came back, back with the other one. Forrest lands a jab and is short with a right hand over the top. Ray, let him go. There could be some head banging here. Stop. Both guys tend to lunge Ray, forward please, please. when they throw. Forrest, is, Vernon Forrest is well polished. Good left jab, and he looks to throw that right hand whenever he can. And he can turn it over. He can put it right, thread a needle with it. Forrest is a heavy favorite in the fight. Odds perhaps skewed by the fact that so few have seen Mayorga. Larry, didn't you tell me there were betting odds of 10 to 1 at one place? Well, I heard that they went down to about 6 to 1 man to man uh, this afternoon. That's logical. More logical than 10. That was a good left hook by Mariaga. Yep, it caught Forrest. And down goes Forrest. Five, six, Marty Denkin. Seven, eight. I think that was a correct call by Marty Denkin. Forrest doesn't think so. Forrest thinks he was thrown down, apparently. Denkin made a motion with his hand behind his head as though Forrest had been hit behind the head, but then called it a knockdown. It was the previous left hook that did the damage. You're exactly right, George. Let him swing wild. Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. You're backing up. Okay? Do not back up on this man. You understand? Look. Yeah. Use the face. Right? When he swing that wild, so get under. Go to the body. The body is open. That was good. Don't, don't get wild from, from outside. Come in close and short sure punches. Got it, Rafael. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rafael. There's the left hand that hurt Forrest. That other left hand might have landed on the shoulder, but it was enough to go to make Forrest go down. And it cost Forrest a round, which he had won up to that moment. Copy box numbers in the round. Forrest 15 out of 51. Mayorga 7 out of 48. But Mayorga gets the round because of the knockdown. Now Forrest.
Smith comes back with his left hook, and Mayorga trade punches with him, and they're going to have a war. This is not the fight that Vernon Forrest wanted. Shield saying, Vernon, don't back up. George, when you back up against a guy like Mayorga, what's the danger? Well, you don't want to back up in any fight. You got to circle your guy. You circle him around and around and around. You back up, you can get caught. But if you circle backwards, it's a different thing. Great uppercut by Forrest and the left hook. Mayorga comes back with a right of his own. They trade shots in the center of the ring. I think that Forrest has demonstrated to this guy, look, you're tough, you're strong, but I got something, too. Well, I think you're right, George, that he wanted to come out in this round and let him know that that knockdown at the end of the last round was not going to be the story of this fight. And that's what a real top fighter does. You got to get back out there and ask that right hand by Forrest. Forrest has been told by Ronnie Shields to go straight at Mayorga and he'll have no problems. He needs to be aggressive behind the jab. Mayorga promised to go to the body and continues to try to do so, although obviously his biggest urge is to fire bombs upstairs. Another great uppercut by Forrest, and he landed a right hand. Mayorga says, come on, bring me more. Forrest begins to paint him with the jab. There was a good body shot by Forrest in there. And he takes another left hand, or Mayorga takes another left hand right on the chops. Big round for Vernon Forrest. And an untold story about Vernon Forrest. He's got heart. He's intending to be, get some respect tonight. It may cost him a little bit, but he's not backing off. Well, since Mosley wasn't able to do much with Forrest, we haven't really seen Vernon amid adversity. And that knockdown at the end of round one was enough to bring out the Tiger in the champion. Good left hook by Mariago. Right uppercut by Forrest. Vernon seems to sense that if he can land one big shot, he can send Mayorga back south. Great left hook by Forrest. Mayorga just takes the combination and says, hit me more. This is like a street fight in which one fighter has skills and the other fighter is just wading in and the guy with skills is trying to figure out how do you fight this guy. I want you to listen. Who the guy out of me and listen to me? You stay right there in the center with this guy. You understand? Look, pick him with the jail. Pick him with the jail. Go to the body. That's all. Forget trying to hit him in the head. You're going to break your damn head. Hit him on top of the head. You understand? Hey, hey that black guy, he hits hard. When, when, yeah, when he hits you like that, make sure you do something in the jab. Early in the round, Mayorga went at Forrest, and Forrest stood there and went right back at him. And later in the round, Forrest was in command. That uppercut may have been the punch that Mayorga was saying that, hey, this guy can fight and punch. In round two by CompuBox numbers, Vernon Forrest landed 32 out of 79 punches, 22 of 44 power shots. Mayorga, 18 of 71. So Vernon wins the second round to level the scales a little bit after a 10-8 round for Mayorga in the first. Hard right hand by Mayorga. Forrest throws Mayorga off of it. Don't you spin it. I think the warning was good for Forrest, who had taken a big right hand from Mayorga. <laughs> Boy, you signed those big contracts, and the last thing on your mind is that you got to fight for the money. <laughs> George's reference is this is the first fight of a six-fight deal between Vernon Forrest and HBO. Mayorga's left blocked by Forrest's glove. Now Mayorga is, Mayorga is going to the body, too. He's acting like a boxer, landing shots. 
get out nearly. Whoa, what an uppercut. Yeah. Mayorga says, I've got an uppercut too. Morris has made a very good adjustment tell you this. by trying to catch Mayorga as he comes in with his uppercut. Another big right hand from Mayorga. Forrest is going to have to be brave in this fight. There's no other way against a guy like this. Body shot by Forrest. Right hand by Mayorga. Vernon counters with a right and busts him right in the chops. Big right hand by Mayorga. Forrest put in a good left hook a moment ago, and that hurt. Vernon wobbling on his feet as he threw the right hand. He goes down goes down in the face of a crutching right that, cross. And oh. that time he was seriously hurt. Yeah, look at the wobbling in Vernon Forrest. Marty Dinkins stops the fight. Marty Dinkins stopped the fight. And Ricardo Mayorga has done it. Let's see Vernon Forrest come into the ring rapping the next time. He was celebrating his championship before he had a serious chance to defend it. George Foreman. But I told you, if you move his head, move his head and throw those big shots, he's got a big chance of doing it. He did it tonight. Vernon Forrest just caught off balance. He but did the, not expect that kind of fight. And the, and the key was that Mayorga was able to take some serious punches Absolutely. from Forrest and stayed in there long enough and Forrest felt he had to fight him so it was Mayorga who dictated how the fight was being fought. You never fight a fighter, you box him. This guy, Vernon Forrest, started fighting the fighter. You don't do that. A puncher, you box him. From that the was the biggest Forrest mistake. Forrest came out and started warring with him in round yeah, two. Once he got that knockdown, fight. Once, he, once he was called for the knockdown, he just felt like he had to get it in and fight for his uh, reputation. At which point, George, you said, look at this. Forrest has great heart. Yeah. In retrospect, too much heart? Too much heart. Amen. No better. <laughs> I couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> too much heart. you got to have your skills and your trainer's advice. His trainer told him constantly, don't stand in the middle of the ring. Box, move around. When you're the better boxer, box. I don't understand how in the world he couldn't have known what Mayorga wanted to do. He only fights one way. I mean, there isn't there isn't another wrinkle in Mayorga's game. That's what he does. And I, Vernon Forrest got himself caught. I'll tell you one thing, that boy doesn't smoke cigarettes, as they say. He had energy galore. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the knockout and see how it happened. Here we go, George. He had landed a couple of big right crosses. See, There's on another top. one. All night long, he's been doing that on the tip, but this time he got him right flesh on the button. Here's flesh another on look. the button. Through the left, missed look the at left, that knee. pounded That's the right. That's why the referee looked at it and said, look, maybe well, I'm going to stop this. And he stood and waved his finger back and forth in front of Vernon's face, looking at Forrest's eyes to see if they followed. And hey, I think it's a good stoppage. Forrest's legs were gone. He had him almost broke his knee. You keep going back in against a guy like this, you could get hurt. No, you just got to box and move. That's your skill. You got the reach. Take advantage of it. Mayorga closed the show, landing 16 of his last 32 power shots, including the series of brutal right hands that set that right hand shot up and produced an earthquake in the welterweight division because you got yourself a new unified welterweight champion. That's what happens on HBO all the time. Indeed, Vernon Forrest's six-fight contract just came and went. <laughs> Don't sign those contracts. But it was a good entrance, as Larry said. Uh, he'll be back. He's got the skill. Oh, he's, he's a got good a fighter. Good he's, a, he's a terrific fighter with a great following, but this just goes to show you anything can happen in the sport. He will be back. So let's go to Michael Buffer now for the particulars on the shocking knockout as we look at Marty Denkin, wave it off and say bye-bye. Ladies bye -bye. and gentlemen, referee Marty Denkin calls a halt to this contest at two minutes and six seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory, he is now the unified WBA, WBC, welterweight champion of the world, Ricardo El Matador Mayorga.